Hi, this is Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a battle from uh, Heavy Tone, who's one of the newer players on the server, and he's in his T40, which is the American Tier 4 um, tank destroyer. Um, he's got the 105mm howitzer um, loaded, which is the um, basically the dirt gun for that particular tank, uh, so it can hand out um, up to about 400 plus uh, hit points damage if it can penetrate. So we're going to watch um, Heavy Tone um, play the Himmelstorm map and he's basically on a mission to uh, complete the tank destroyer missions for the um, Stug 4, the TD-15 mission. And for that uh, he has to complete 2,000 hit points worth of damage. So he's got a reasonable chance of doing that, but um, the Stug 4 personal campaign missions um, the minimum tier is tier 4 so just uh, qualifies for that and um, this is uh, obviously the lowest tier that you can play play those games in anyway we'll see how heavy tone goes he's going to the traditional um, spot on the Himmelstorm map for tank destroyers um, referred to as banana alley and his first victim turns up uh, which is Striv and it uh, looks like that particular player is a bot um, He's on the Australian server, so he's basically yeah, playing against um, a combination team of uh, bots and actual players. Now the Matilda plays uh, up against there is a real player. Um, probably the dangerous part of the Matilda is even though it does relatively low amounts of damage in each shot, it's got a fairly rapid firing and relatively accurate gun, so you don't want to take too much uh, damage from there. Um, it's already taken two shots and he managed to um, penetrate the Matilda. And the other part about Matilda's got a very strong frontal armour, but um, as Heavy Tone is firing HE ammunition, he can basically do splash damage, and um, which is basically fortunate for the here, because he's not that far away in real distance, so he's getting no benefit from camouflage um, or spotting distance. He's basically effectively in a brawling position. Now the um, T-40 is a tank destroyer based on the M3 Lee. Um, it's basically taken the turret off and mounted a gun in the middle. So it's got a relatively wide arc which is good so you can take an angle on the corner and still get his gun aligned up. But uh, he's just got a spot here where he can shoot over the rocks but um, he's waiting for basically an enemy to be on the other end of his shell. So he's already lost a bit of health to the Matilda, so he's going to be watching that carefully. He doesn't have a lot of health, but um, uh, we'll see how he manages that during the game. So Matilda seems to be falling back, so he's pushing up uh, to see whether he can get any more damage. He's already done 263, um, but uh, now the enemy's progressing up here, and he's got a bot in the Type 91, and he smacks him for 359 takes out his first kill and again just shows the um, ability of the howitzer gun to do massive amounts of damage. Now it's not a very fast uh, travelling shell, it does about 300 metres per second um, so it, you will see it loop through the air which is sort of the ballistic curve of that, it's not a because it's not a fast uh, travelling shell it doesn't really travel in a straight line. But that does give him a bit of an advantage with that, uh, Matilda's behind wall uh, allows the shell to go in a loop straight over the top and um, land potentially on the roof which is a weak part of the the hull or the the tank itself uh, so there's a slight advantage but again he's in a pretty precarious position here um, you need to make sure that if you get into an advanced position you've got at least an escape route so luckily he's managed to push the um, enemy back there uh, there's a Hetzer there, and we'll see whether he can do any damage. But now uh, the Hetzer's back, and not really giving him much of a shot there. And then another tank pulls out, but that gets destroyed by the um, other members of his team. Doesn't manage to land his shot, and again, that's one of the disadvantages of the low shell velocity is that, um, yeah, it obviously takes longer for that shell to reach the target than, say, someone who's uh, firing next to you with a faster shell velocity. So you tend to lose some of those opportunities where you both pull the trigger at the same time. Quick reaction is that um, yeah you might just shell might not just land there in time, and particularly for tanks that are moving 
traverse across the screen uh, relative to you, um, you'll have to lead them more with a slower shell velocity. So Heavy Tone's decided that that uh, alley's not going to be as productive for him as he needs to be, so he's moved across to the other side. It does get lit, um, but again, these are bots um, mostly, but um, they're not that accurate sometimes at firing, but on the other hand, they can actually uh, be pretty accurate in, in landing shots. So he's uh, being quite aggressive here, pushing up. He's done nearly a thousand damage. Uh, he's very keen to reach his target, so let's hope that it doesn't cloud his decision making. So here comes another bot there, uh, right in front of him, and he polishes him off with a single shot, doing just over 160 damage. So continues to push around. He's seen the um, bots go down that uh, centre lane there that he's turning towards. So you'll see whether he can get any more targets there. And in fact, there's a B1 with a nice amount of damage that you can take out of it. And he gets, again, another high roll there. Uh, well, all the health of that tank, 309. So he's now on 1400 damage. So getting close to his target. Now let's see that shell didn't quite land. It's got a pretty wide gun dispersion on this uh, 105mm. It's something like... Um, 0.55, although he does have uh, Coca-Cola loaded, which will improve his um, his overall uh, dispersion. Now he's spotted a Hetzer out in the open. He manages to track him as he's moving, which spins him around and shows him his side, which is a bit unfortunate for the Hetzer, because the next round that comes in basically goes straight through the side, the weakest armor. And uh, that's brought him up to 1700 damage. So yeah, things are getting tense for Heavy Tone. He's um, Got uh, two enemies on cap, and it doesn't look like his team will cap in time, but he's going to drive down that way and see whether he can get anything. He finds, again, another bot there, um, but manages to track him and get some assisted damage. Doesn't bring his uh, overall total up a great deal, but he's now on just under 1900, so things are getting really close for Heavy Tone. And you can imagine he's feeling pretty nervous right now. So Stalk 3 on the enemy team takes out um, another bot from Heavy Tone's team and he's now facing directly to the Stug. Does 146 to him, drives up as close as he can to um, minimise the dispersion, but um, unfortunately the Stalk shuts him down. But in that last shot he's managed to achieve his target, so he's just scraped over by 20 hit points. So congratulations Heavy Tone on achieving that. Um, four kills. Uh, doesn't look like his team's going to meet the um, cap because there's two on the enemy cap, uh, two from the enemy on his cap and only one on the uh, on his side capping. No one's going to get back in time and unfortunately that's a loss, but a win otherwise for Heavy Tone. Congratulations. So let's have a look at the results. We can see Heavy Tone got the high caliber award, which is given for doing at least a thousand hit points of damage and more than 20% of the hit points of your enemy team, uh, which is yeah, illustrates from his um, damage total of 2,020 hit points. He's also topped his team both in damage and experience, uh, more than nearly double the uh, next player in his team, and he would have placed third um, overall in hit points, uh, even though the enemy team got the win bonus. You can see from the HE uh, use that although you know, he penetrated three times out of his hits, he's done damage every single time, uh, which is the advantage of HE. So again, it illustrates you can do these missions in a low tier tank. So again, congratulations, Heavy Tone.